Here we're going to graph this rational function. So step one would be to factor uh, anything in the top or the bottom that can be factored. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And notice now that we factored the bottom uh, that there is a common factor of x minus 1. So let's go ahead and cancel that out. And that also means that we're going to have a hole or point of discontinuity in our graph at that point. Find out where you can simply take that factor, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. And here, x equals 1, and that is where your point of discontinuity is going to occur. Whatever terms are remaining it will represent your graph of your function. Uh, so on top, uh, everything canceled except 1. So you have a 1 on top, and you have x plus 3 on the bottom. So this is our uh, function that we're going to graph. Uh, you can also identify any asymptotes that you have. Uh, we can look at the bottom, take the bottom, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. x equals negative 3, so we'll have a vertical asymptote at uh, x equals negative 3. Uh, the fact that the degree of the bottom is greater than the degree of the top, uh, you're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Notice that the graph we're left with is really the parent function that has been shifted uh, three units to the left. But let's use everything that we've gathered so far, uh, the hole in the graph or the point of discontinuity. Uh, remember that was at one, uh, our vertical asymptote, our horizontal asymptote. Let's use all of that and sketch our graph. So this is what it looks like. And notice, yes, we do have a point of discontinuity or a hole right there at one.